So this is my Zion Crane 2 3-axis camera stabilizer. Some of you all might not know, but I accidentally sold my first one if you saw my previous video. I managed to buy a used one online for a great price. And well, I'll let you take a guess about what today's video is going to be about. First things first, let's take a look at the build of this gimbal. If you're planning on buying one in the future, I'd go for it. It's not the newest, it's not the oldest. It's definitely got some power and I'll be demonstrating that in today's video. I'm just gonna show you guys what this thing is capable of and what it can do. And if you should buy one in the future or if you're planning to buy one, it's definitely got some power. I have chucked on my camera on this gimbal. I have a Canon M50 with the Sigma 16 millimeter F1.4. It's a pretty heavy rig and this thing has no problem with it the issues i had with my previous gimbal i would put it in a certain mode and i would put my camera on it and i tried tilting it one way and the motor would just give out it would just start swinging all over the place and unfortunately it only needed a firmware update which was kind of ridiculous right but anyways you know i feel like i'm hyping this thing up way too much to show you guys what it can do so so let's get ready and i guess jump on the road <laughs> So, unfortunately, the two friends I invited to tag along with were unable to make it due to our days off being so far apart. So I decided to go out and have an adventure of my own, and well, this is what my creativity came up with. What a great experience. I'm glad it happened. A uh, big shout out to all the friends who participated in this video. It was extremely fun. The Zion Crane 2, y'all. Such a great compacted and well-built gimbal. In my experience, this thing served me well. It has performed better than any other gimbal that I've ever owned. My favorite mode to play around with was uh, the POV mode because it tracks your every movement. If you choose to move up, down, left, right, and even when you turn it upside down, it's amazing. And you can also set the sensitivity motors on the Zion app, which is extremely convenient for some users. If you guys have any questions about the gimbal, feel free to leave it down in the comments or or you can reach me on my Instagram. I'll leave the link down in the description below. I hope this film inspired some of you guys to just go out and shoot. You might not have all the time in the world, but that's okay. You don't need all the time in the world. All you have is right now, today. It's either today or never. Start on that journey. Make small weekly goals. Even if you feel like today isn't your day, at least pretend like it is. Pretend like it's your day, your week, your month, your hour, your second. Because doing all of that leads to this at the end of the day. You're left with a great smile, great attitude, great memories, great moments you can look back to and a beautiful story to tell. And nonetheless, a day that always belonged to you. All you had to do Let's go and get it. See you on the next one, y'all.